Hi there, I'm Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astro-Numerologist, and welcome to your Astro-Numerology forecast for the extraordinarily wonderful Taurus New Moon on May 6th. Now it happens at 8.29 p.m. Universal Time, that's in London, 3.29 p.m. New York, Eastern Time, and 12.29 p.m. Pacific. And after all the major growth that we've gone through lately, this new moon comes as a welcome gift at the beginning of May. Now, it triggers a highly fortunate astrology formation and it places a huge emphasis on Venus as well. So the focus on joy, romance, abundance, love, all those wonderful Venus Taurus qualities are really heightened. Now let's look at the numbers code first because the month of May is going to have a really different energy from April. It's going to feel lighter, more fun, still with that change in the air, but the energy of change is not as confrontingly deep as it was with that number 13 universal month in April. That's because May in numerology is a universal month of 14. So you'll be able to go out, explore, take risks, go on adventures, have fun, and there's a real sense of freedom and joy and going to a place where you feel fearless and just are able to go on an adventure. So there's a sense of resiliency with this number 14 and five as well, because no matter what you do, the choices will require you to act quickly. Five is a pivot point number. It requires decisions. It lets you focus. It makes you communicate. It allows you to express yourself. It's exciting, it's flexible. So you wanna take advantage of all the opportunities that are coming through in May in general, and especially with this new moon. So this beautiful Taurus new moon happens on May 6th, and that means love, abundance, nurturing your soul and compassion are big themes because six governs the home, it governs family, it governs the physical home where your soul resides, so your body as well. So self-care is important to look at now as well. Now the sixth house in astrology also represents healing and your daily environment and health. So on May 6th, we also have another number, the number two activated, since the whole date, May 6, 2016, adds up to 20. Now 20 and two govern balance and partnerships and peace and communication. So with six being added, right, to two, so love, compassion with communication and relationships, you can see why this new moon will really, really accentuate your intimate partnerships and romance. Two is also a number of rest, of patience, not pushing too hard. So there's an equilibrium, a juxtaposition here of moving forward with excitement in the month, but also relaxing and rejuvenating. Now there are two other factors as well that are really important with this new moon. The first is that it occurs at 16 degrees in Taurus, right in the middle of that sign. So it's infusing it with even more strength. And 16 is about your intuition, looking within, concentration and awareness and awakening. 16 reduces to seven. And seven is also about serenity and reflection and calm. So these aha moments that you're receiving this month are best received in peace and quiet while you're also communing with nature. And the second major factor, which is really important, and it's been enforced since the end of April, is that five planets are retrograde during this new moon, and they will have been for over a week. And that hasn't happened in 10 years. So let's look at this phenomenon a little closer because it's super important right now. So lots of stuff that was hidden from your consciousness before now is being uncovered with these five retrograding planets. So you're seeing things you never did before. It's as if you're holding a mirror, you're shining a, a bright new light on people and situations in yourself, and you're noticing new motivations, personality traits, hidden agendas. You're making discoveries that are turning into really, really big breakthroughs. So most likely you're adjusting, you're recalibrating, and definitely something is changing. Now, when planets retrograde, especially four or five at once, it gives you a big opportunity to accept what you weren't able to accept before. So you're exploring areas in your life and the people around you that weren't, you weren't quite ready to look at. And as a result, you're experiencing a lot of internal growth. You know, any retrograding planet, even if it's one that's happening, it uncovers the unseen, the unnoticed, 
and it allows it to come up into your consciousness so you can digest anything that you've missed before or glossed over or just not been able to comprehend before now or maybe been resisting, right? So in the case of five retrogrades at once with Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, and Pluto, you'll be discovering how to communicate in a fresh new way with your authentic voice. So being able to differentiate your true voice from someone else's idea of what happiness and fulfillment means. So not projecting the ideas that you've picked up along the way from people around you culturally, etc., but speaking from a place of inspiration and feeling that birth, that birth of truth bubble up from inside of you. You'll know the difference because you're only really truly inspired by your words and ideas if they come from the depths of your soul. Whatever you're exploring, when you see the new light, right? And Jupiter represents this as well. It's expanding your vision, right? When you're seeing your new light, you feel that incredible transformation. You feel that connection to the divine. Now, your future is forever changed by what you are discovering. And you're the wiser for it because Jupiter is stationing. It's slowing down now during these next few days because three days after this new moon on May 9th, Jupiter is changing direction and starting its journey moving forward, direct again. So Jupiter is the planet of the future, the planet of wisdom and joy and abundance. And it's in Virgo, so that means you need to pay attention to your daily rhythm, your spiritual, mental, physical health, right, in any situation, so that your life is in a consistent daily state of flow. So take this invitation to explore while Jupiter is stationing and you will benefit really big time in the near future because your vibrational state is refining at this time and that means you're transforming you're transitioning so the sun and moon are conjunct or right next to mercury at 21 degrees and that also enhances your creative communication making you more clear so you can verbalize your ideas with a lot of clarity so no matter what you do it's a great time to share your message to share your voice share your inspirations and also this new moon is joined with Venus on the other side so it's really quadruple conjunction here and that conjunction with Venus the ruler of Taurus where the new moon happens is, is at eight degrees, which gives you a powerful forward momentum regarding your vision of wealth and love in the next two weeks, right? Okay, so now it's time to look at that lucky, lucky grand trine. It's so beautiful, so strong and confident. So a grand trine is a big triangle that's formed in the heavens. And this one's formed between Jupiter, Pluto, and that quadruple conjunction, Sun, Moon, Venus, Mercury. So opportunities for powerful destined relationships with people who help you to manifest your greatest joy and create financial rewards is really heightened. Because Pluto, the empowerment planet, and fortunate Jupiter, the abundance planet, they're merging together for lasting wealth and attracting opportunities. And then that new moon in Taurus, right, with Venus and Mercury, makes this grand trine very powerful because it means it's in earth signs. So you're grounding and you're holding a secure, stable energy for abundance to flourish. So your ability to actually take an idea, take an inspiration, which will come to you very, very quickly, right? Remember, it's a 14 month. It will be very lasting. So remember, because of that 14, that five energy, you're gonna get quick, exciting news. You're gonna get unexpected opportunities, insights, and you'll want to utilize them immediately. Don't take a lot of time procrastinating because the abundance will, will stagnate then. So this is an exquisitely beautiful new moon, one of the most lovely lunations of the whole year and very fortunate. And it also has a sacred geometric design called a T-square between Saturn, Jupiter, and Neptune. Now with that energetic formation, you can see your spiritual mission. You can feel your destiny in action. Mars is conjunct Saturn too in this T-square, so that gives you the drive, the ambition, the libido, the energy to actually work through and manifest. Even though Mars is retrograde, right? It's, it's still giving you that drive. So the combination of this grand trine and T-square during this new moon really creates a majestic and magical celestial formula. And 16 degrees Taurus gives you that intuitive download capability where you receive things in a flash and wake up and have that self-discovery and growth. 
So I absolutely love this Taurus new moon and it happens right in the middle, like I said, right in the middle of the sign of Taurus. So it's so strong. So one more important thing I want to share. On May 9th, Jupiter stations direct, as I mentioned earlier. Well, that change of direction happens literally, well, it happens at 13 degrees Virgo for one, but it happens literally three hours before Mercury transits over the sun, which is a planetary eclipse, very rare, when Mercury moves in front of the sun. Now that only happens around 13 times in a century. Now Mercury is the messenger, the communication planet and it's it's obviously retrograding and it's eclipsing the sun so that's going to feel like it's going to alter your state of perception you'll experience some profound mental breakthroughs communication breakthroughs allowing you to absorb and see and literally see like psychically see into the future and envision your life remember jupiter is also about the future and jupiter is just moving direct today so this is an amazing amazing moment where you can really, really activate your intuition. And this eclipse happens at 19 degrees in Taurus, which is a very powerful number. It's called the Prince of Heaven number by the ancients, and it symbolizes the sun. So this eclipse of Mercury transiting the sun is bringing the light of the messenger, the, the light of communication into your life. So life is moving in a beautiful direction now. So you really wanna make sure that your plans for abundance are clear and being implemented. And remember to rest and reflect a bit more while you bask in the joy of this new moon and the energetics for May. Now, I'll see you soon for May's powerful Sagittarius full moon forecast. That one happens the day Mercury moves direct again. So lots of lots to share for that. So thank you so much for watching.